July 5th to July 6th, Tuesday. Now, it's best to examine the, the female cat people sensation, mm -hmm. take temperature. Now, this one is 39.5, it's just between the upper limit of normal. And then, uh, of course, you check the because membrane, which is okay. And then also capillary refill time, less than one second. Dumps are pale, he's six months old. And uh, overall, uh, use the stethoscope to, to check the heart and lungs. So in case of uh, any pneumonia, not, although normally they don't vaccinate the cat, I check both sides, check the heart, check the heart rate. Mm. So temperature is okay. Then uh, heart and lungs, okay. Then after that, we check the abdomen, abdominal palpation, palpate abdomen for any lumps or any swelling or pain. So palpate abdomen, palpate, unless the case is very un unhappy, uh, it's not unhappy. Palpate abdomen. Mm, so that, that, that is the standard, and then the pulse, respiratory rate and pulse, take respiratory rate, respiratory rate upon observation, and do the pulse, <coughs> check, the, check the pulse rate, <coughs> pulse pressure, volume, okay, then done. <coughs> then uh, respiratory rate, but just an observation of the chest movement is less than 40 per minute. This is, this is what you can see. Uh. So for uh, for cat, which is this is a six months old, come in for spaying. These are the things to be done before anything. Before going straight into the injection of the tranquilizer, sedation. Now two point five kg, and uh, this one is telazine plus ketamine combined, IM, and. Uh, Normally, I find it sufficient for spaying, provided the vet is fast mm. enough. And spay the cat within 15 minutes. That means the whole process of injection to end of spay should be 15 minutes injection, then wait about 5 minutes, spay 10 minutes, which should be more than enough. And, uh, and that's it. This, if, if not, then you have to top up with isofluorine ketamine now. This uh, dosage has been used by me for over the years. Now the xalazine ketamine combination, one syringe IM is xalazine 20 at 0 0.1 plus ketamine 0 0.4 in one syringe IM for cats less than uh, 3 kg, about 1 to 3. And uh, cats more than 3 to 5, 3 to 6 then there is a 0 0.2 ketamine plus 0 0.8 and a 0 0.2 silazine plus 0 0.8 ketamine IM making it to 1 ml there is more for the 5 kg to 6 kg cats for spay uh, for neutering you can reduce it by 50% or by 30% each vet has its own formula and uh, reversing and may be needed if you use more salazine. In this case, uh, in the other practice, is the use uh, the formula is xylazine 0 0.1 uh, ml per kg plus ketamine is 0 0.1 ml per kg minus the volume used for. Xylazine. So, for example, 5 kg cat, so they were based on xylazine 0 0.5 ml plus ketamine is 0 0.4 ml IM. In this case, I noticed the xylazine is quite high at 0 0.5, whereas for me, it would probably would be at 0 0.2 because my formula would be 0 0.2 xylazine plus 0 0.8 ketamine. So, their ketamine is lower. So in this case, they use reversing to reverse it and it's quite effective. Okay, now we will proceed with this uh, cat for spay at 0 0.15 ml <coughs> uh, salazine by 0 0.4 ml. Okay, now what we do is bring the 
the cage up first. Bring the cage up first so that once we inject, the cat will uh, uh, run into the uh, carrier without having to, to struggle too much. The assistant holds the neck, scruff the neck and get ready. Okay.